What if I told you there was a content drop today that might break the game? What if it drew people away from such games as Roblox and uh, Goat Simulator to finally come back to the MLB realm? Well, we just might have that content drop. There is insane cards. There's more than insane cards. And then there's stuff that just flat out is, you know, PTSD inducing. Yes, I'm talking about DeGrom. We have so much to talk about. This is going to be a 20 minute long video. Leave a like down below. Thank you for watching. But first, let's take a second and talk about Factor on demand, fresh, never frozen meals that are going to keep you towards your goals. I love Factor because it's very convenient. It is great quality food that you can have ready within two to three minutes. So if you're going to the office or if you're working from home and don't have the time to cook a whole meal, there you go. You have plenty of great nutrition and you can see on the website, you have a ton of different meal options to choose from and you get to see the calories, the protein. They've got keto options. They have vegetarian options. Truly, any diet they are going to fit the constraints for you you guys can use my promo code factors e6787 you're going to get 60 percent off your first shipment which is a fantastic deal if you get 10 meals it's going to clock in about 55 dollars including shipping Less than six bucks for full meals. Some of these have up to like 50, 60 grams of protein. I am absolutely loving Factor. You can cancel at any time. It is a great opportunity, and I hope that you guys check it out. Thank you again to Factor. Thank you for watching this outro. Subscribe, damn it. All right. Coming in, we've got a lot of cards today. There's a lot to talk about. There's new collections. We're getting Otani next week. Let's start with the program. Good God. Uh, okay, let's try and do my best here. Now, do we need to t cover Jose Iglesias for super long? I don't think so. We'll cover him as many seconds as he does have power. We're done. Alex Verdugo, the same thing. A few more seconds. Okay, DJ LeMahieu, finest card. Not bad. You're entering the not such uh, shiitake territory here. We got Charlie Morton. Um, better days with the Rays right there. Uh, he looks like a card for sure. We got Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Obviously, these are supplemental. They're supposed to, you know, build some bones here. Brad Hand, actually not too bad, although I know... Uh, not too many Brad Hand fans out there. Tim Anderson, Max against left. Kind of cool. We got Matt Boyd. Ooh, 82 hit per nine. I We had better than that at launch. Salvi. Damn it. They didn't go as his finest last year. A little rough. A little tough. Uh, you know, we got Polanco. <laughs> we got Polanco. How in God's name uh, is this card in the same pack uh, some of those others, I have no earthly idea. But he's coming in hot with one quirk. Huge. Kyle Tucker. I promise you when I tell you, this was my best card last year. After he released, he couldn't get out. He was, you know, like IKF with the Twins. He never got out, damn it. I'm really looking forward to him. We got David Fletcher. Go back to the same rule. As many seconds as he does have power. Rough. Liam Hendricks. Five pitches. Okay, that's, you know, usable ter uh, territory. For the Aussie there. Very accurate Australian accent. Am I right? We got Mitch Hanniger. Really liked his face of the franchise. Could be one of uh, the cards that I... I probably won't use him. Let's be real. Lance Lynn. You kind of get the point here. MLB 21 really started the... You know, the significant juice up. A lot of these cards. But Lance Lynn is always a viable option. Uh, we got Ozzy Elbius. Again, imagine this card came out as a finest this year. You would not have a smile on your face. We got Miguel Rojas. Uh, getting deja vu. I'm saying the same thing for each card. Obviously, these aren't going to break the game. Zach Wheeler. We got Marcus Stroman. Um, we got Anth I would say something, you know, about the hit nine right there, but I don't want to get blocked on Twitter. Uh, we got Anthony Rendon. Looks solid. Frank Schwindel. Uh, better days for the old boy there, huh? This card's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm not even kidding when this is probably a better card than the collection for the finest. We'll see later. Uh, we got Jesse Winker. Imagine if the Mariners got that version. Devin Williams, the airbender himself, is going to throw 98. He gets three quirks. This card is S-tier. 
for sure. We're going to do a tier list tomorrow. We got Jacob Stallings, the GOAT, Jack Flaherty, when he's not on the IL, making a rare appearance here. Cattell Marte, um, better days for him too. That's a pretty solid card. CJ Crone, we got Walker Bueller. Um, we got Drew Pomeranz, decent, no changeup, rough. And Brandon Crawford with a nice 38 speed. Love it. Um, here we go. Time for the big shebang. We got Adley Rutschman, 100-100. Is it unusable? No. Is it good? No. There's 25 points of wiggle room right there. Let's get it up there. Uh, if we were sponsored by Roman, we'd have a shout-out. Uh, he's got great defense, 94-95 in the arm and block. He's going to kill righty switch hitter. Got a great swing. Uh, I don't know. Xander Bogarts, max contact, low hundreds power. Is a really good swing. Of course, these cards are equipped with quirks. I'm not going to go over every one, but I am going to rank all the cards in the next video, so make sure and stay tuned for that one. Uh, we got Nestor. They did change some pitch mixes here, which is going to make a lot of these more viable. Nestor's interesting. He's a soft toss and lefty with a secret cutter combo with maxed out hit nine. What does that spell? Mid plus. Uh, we got Shane McClanahan. Well, if that's the definition for mid-plus, uh, Shane McClanahan is really setting a new bar, isn't he? Uh, just a bad pitch mix. I don't know why they bend over backwards to create some falsified pitches for some, but poof, McClanahan's still not good at the game. Vlad! It pains me because they could have went with his finest from last year, gave us a classic, but he still has a ton of quirks. It's going to help you out. Pretty good card. You are going to be able to pick 18. You get three of each division. My suggestion for the first one, probably go with Xander, Adley, and Vlad. But I understand if you're a, a 27 ringer and want to, you know, grab Nestor there. We got Jose Ramirez, who, again, fits the same rule. He can never have a balanced card in the game. 100-105 is not the end of the world, but certainly start of the apocalypse there. But he does a 125 vision, which is a nice consolation prize with six quirks. Dylan Cease! Uh, ceases to have a sinker in real life, but poof, it's here. 122 hit nine. He does not have outlier, which is a little rough. 98, 95, so gonna throw about as hard as he can without having the outlier quirk. Pretty good. Tarek Skubal. Uh, just leaves some to be desired here. I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> I checked with 95 uh, mile an hour if he had an outlier. He doesn't. Uh, I don't know. It's certainly one of the cards they dropped today. We got Bobby Witt Jr. I thought it was gonna be singer. But this one probably better. Bobby Witt is looking pretty nice. Max speed, ton of ha uh, ton of hitting stats. Joan Duran, good lord, 117, 117 on the hit and K, over 100 on BB9. He is double outlier on the splitter and the four seam. But they gave him a slider this time around. So the difference between the tops now, he is a no cutter. He is a slide piece. Uh, we're looking at Jose Altuve, the mighty midget. I will say. Uh, one, I will say he has a shitload of quirks. I used to be of the opinion where, you know, hitting with hobbits was not easy. Uh, it really looks like he's coming from the Shire right there. I mean, these cards are built in a way where these guys look small. Altuve, I almost have to squint to see him there. Uh, but he's a good card. I'm looking forward to that one. We got Taylor Ward um, coming out of the great state of Ohio. <laughs> Uh, we have 84 speed at a catcher secondary. That's where you're going to want to put him. 120-120 against righties. He's got no quirks because they don't update their game. Sean Murphy is sadly one of the cards that they release that is not very good. He has 119 power. He's really good arm strength. He's got 99 reaction. That's going to play big at catcher. Uh, Julio Rodriguez, again, part of the problem with no quirks here. It's tough, you know? Somebody said the... Home run derby card was better. Honestly, P5, home run derby, J-Rod is the same hitting stats. Just boost like plus 25 vision and give him the fielding from his all-star card. But hey, you know, he's going to be fun. And then Adolis Garcia is uh, the Cuban J-Rod, I guess. They're pretty much identical there. Uh, I don't know. There's some good ones, but the AL West, a little underwhelming in my opinion. We got Spencer Strider, another one where... I don't know why they didn't give him a better pitch mix. He does have great per nines and an outlier on the four seam. 121, 119. Let's just call it max. Um, let's just call it, I'm not going to use him. We got Sandy Ocantra with 119, 93K per nine. So yes, more than the Marlins had wins. Thank you. Uh, pitch mix is good. He does have outlier two on the sinker. So no double outlier here, but he can still hit triple digits if you get on your knees and beg, I suppose. 110 BB9, which is going to be really good. We got Big Meat Pete. Big Beer Billy Pete. It's going to 
It's going to count for something. Max power. It shows 116-106 contact, respectively. Gold defense, if you asked. We have secret card combo on Aaron Nola. Looks great. Max BB9, really looking forward to him. I think he's got one of those motions easy to green. Easy to blue. What is this? 2K? Uh, what next? Are they going to, you know, my wallet is moving out of my pocket here. We got Joey Menesis, again, who is unironically better than Vlad. Max against lefties. Pretty damn good card. I love his swing. Um, we've got Nico Horner. I know a lot of you guys are horny for Horner right here. Uh, if you are getting erotic on 88 power, well, I've got news for you. He is insane versus left, 125 at 88. Uh, so I called him basically a, a broke man's Honus, as if Honus was an expensive car to begin with. But there he is. We got Hunter Green, who, yeah, you know, two seam. It's one of those pitches. For some, it works. For some, it doesn't. Different strokes, am I right? Randy is a pitch you want to use. Hunter Green, I'm not so sure. So a three-pitch guy, he does have outlier. I don't know where he falls. Hunter Renfro, max power. He's got 64 speed, plenty enough um, in the outfield. But, you know, just pretend the center field does not count there. I don't put him there. Uh, we got Brian Reynolds. Spoiler alert, he's the best card. He is better than maybe the DeGrom, but certainly any other card they dropped. He's more or less maxed out at everything at parallel five as a switch hitter. He, I honestly think he's better than Trout. I really do. He's got more quirks than him too. Trout has six. Brian Reynolds has seven. I'm speechless. Uh, Nolan Arenado here, a 10-time gold glover. Um, you know, times by 40, you get a speed there. Only 40. Uh... Inverse max, 125 contact, 125 power, righties and lefties. Uh, he's all right. You know, I wanted a little bit more. I felt like he deserved a little bit more. Dalton Varsho certainly deserved a hell of a lot more. He's got no arm. He's got rough vision, 90 power left, and not a great amount of contact. I, look how the massacred my boy. Got Daniel Bard sticking his tongue out. That's how I feel about this card. We got Outlier. We do on the sinker. And no double outlier. I'm really looking forward to this one right here. He's one of my favorite BR cards. He's going to cause havoc. We got Freeman, max contact, power, 109-100 respectively. Uh, pretty good. I always love his swing, plays well above his attributes. We got, uh, I guess, the Padres version of Nolan Arenado, Manny Machado. I pretty much control V on these two cards here. Pretty much the same, and they're both pretty damn good. And Logan Webb, I was excited initially, but they dropped the cutter. Make it make sense. They add some pitches for some. They take away from some others. Uh, I'm not sure, but it certainly would have helped this card. Not bad, although at uh, at that rate. Um, this program's going to last four, four weeks. It's going to go up to a million points, I imagine. Pretty cool. Same kind of packs that they always have there. New event. We've got four new cards, including Jacob deGrom. He is here, and he is crazy, but let's first get over some mid. Jose Abreu. Again, uh, the card art looks fantastic, but the stats are a bit rough. You know, a bit tough here. A 90 and 100 power, 51 speed, and a first base lock. You don't love to see it. Felix Batista, pretty cool. Um, outlier in the four seam. He's going to have a cutter with a 10 mile an hour differential, and you get even slower. I think this card could be really good. I'm looking forward to trying him out. We got Michael Harris, who, again... You know, immediately looking at this card, you're like, ew, get it off the screen. But think about it. If you have him as a bench bat, he's going to kill righties. One of the best versus righties hitters in the game. And he's got max speed and fielding. So it's a perfect guy that you can put into your outfield if you're rocking a Babe Ruth. You know, defensive replacement of the ninth inning. And he's going to do a damn good job at it. So Michael Harris, pretty good. But, you know, he's no DeGrom after all. <laughs> Max, Max, and 114 BB9. Obviously, he is outlier. And every quirk, he's got night player. Again, you should be playing your games at night if you don't start. Uh, stopper and road warrior. Holy shit. I don't know if he's going to be as good as he was last year. Because there's just more variance, more RNG into your pars, your perfect accuracy region. But he's going to be damn good. Um, again, tier list uh, is going to be out soon. He's going to rank rather high, I I'm going to say here. Uh, there's another pitcher. There's another chase pack. It seems like they remember that was a thing in their game. Here we got Corbin Burns, uh, which is cool to see. I was a little worried when we saw Hunter as the card there. Didn't want to miss out. He's wearing the 
the beer league softball jersey is pretty cool sinker cutter combo he's got outlier on the sink piece and very good hit nine 120 108 103 on the k and bb9 awesome liking corbin there but there's more <laughs> there's a collection here too for the finest honestly i could have really went without seeing this one it's byron buxton and he has 88 contact and 75 vision you know, there's something about being in the end game and seeing this where it just makes you feel bad, right? This is the first finest, the first 99 card the guy's ever gotten. And I feel like, you know, I, I don't, he also has 73 clutch. I mean, unusable, right? Only seven. Let's be fair. 78 durability is way too fucking high. <laughs> we got Max Scherzer. Looks kind of fun. 116, 108, 114 on those uh, per nines there. He's got a, a curve, a slurve rather, a cutter. Uh, interesting pitches. Uh, looking forward to using Scherzer. Got to try him out. Got to get my greasy, grubby hands on him. We got Edwin Diaz. They swap the two seam for the sinker. He's like a right-handed Zach Britton. He's got outlier on the four seam. Not quite on the sinker. I think that's the optimal way um hard as he can throw sinker without outlier and then the four seam gets outlier i think that's what i prefer and he's max hitting k 100 bb9 he looks pretty good and then paul goldschmidt poly g yeah ending things out on kind of a soft note i don't know i mean for collecting 30 cards i feel like why not put Degrom here i mean it's more accessible i suppose uh in the event there but at the same token i mean i don't know there's not really a reason outside of the new collection that is dropping rather soon. Because uh, if you look at the schedule, uh, they're about to break the game even more. Uh, we've got a Takashi collection. Hmm, who could that be? I'm not too sure. Um, it's, you know, it's Shohei Otani. I'm just going to spoil it for you right there. It's either him or it's going to be Byung-Ho Park, one of the two. Uh, World Series content is coming to be determined. We'll have to see. How many games this wraps up in? Where uh, Astros up three to two with Game Six uh, slated for tomorrow. Milestone program coming on Friday of next week. We have unlocked four new Milestone Series rewards and other program. So probably a lot like the goats and ghouls we just did, and then roster and another big Legends and Flashback collection. So we have two big collections within one week. Good lord! If there's ever been a better time to be a hoarder. It is right now, and I'm very happy that I've been sitting on this shit and not selling it. So, they're an absolute monsoon, truly. I mean, so much content today, it arguably isn't that funny. Uh, we're going to be grinding it out. There's drops, and there is special drops. You guys can get rare elite drops. Choice packs. You know, you get juicy packs. I think there's a ball and out of control. There's a lot of great stuff. Come hang out in the stream. Come get it. Uh, and we're going to do some live rankings of the cards, too. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. That comes out. Yay.